for dinner tonight? Have you ever wondered how the delicious food your mom prepares for you every day gets to your table? Knowing that you have enough to eat is called food security. More than 1,000 million people in the world do not have the luxury of knowing that their supply of food is secure. One out of every seven South Africans goes to bed hungry. Yet more than enough food is produced in the world to feed everyone. It is completely unnecessary for anyone, anywhere, to suffer the agony of starvation. Every single thing we eat, either directly or indirectly, comes from plants. Without edible plants, no animal, not even humans, could survive. Farmers face many challenges and great expense to grow healthy crops. Throughout Africa, almost two-thirds of every crop can be destroyed by bugs, diseases, weeds and parasites. This means that even though ample food is planted, many people go hungry because it is ruined before it gets to the market. Food losses are an expensive waste affecting many sectors of the economy throughout the world. Keeping plants healthy is very important. It is particularly important to protect our crops and ensure a safe and secure supply of food. Time to call in the experts. Plant pathologists are a bit like a team of forensic specialists. A plant pathologist is a professional person who specializes in keeping plants healthy. There are many different and fascinating aspects of plant pathology, which all play an important role in understanding plant diseases, food security and the country's economy. When plants are under attack from pests, the grower may turn to a plant pathologist for help. After identifying the nature of the problem, a plant pathologist will be able to advise on the best course of action. The first important step is to undertake the required field work. The experts visit the affected site to obtain crucial evidence first-hand. They must collect as many samples or evidence as they can. Pollution, environmental stress and nutrition imbalances can make plants more vulnerable to attack. This may result in a smaller yield. Thorough and accurate investigation is the first step towards finding a solution. The samples from the field will be brought into the laboratory. Here, any harmful organisms can be isolated and grown under controlled conditions. This gives the laboratory expert an opportunity to identify the culprit. The next step is to discover how the disease-causing organism, or pathogen, attacks the plant. The researcher will also investigate ways of preventing the disease or of controlling it safely. Sometimes the cause of a problem lies much deeper within the plant's own cells and molecules incredibly tiny, invisible to the eye, and difficult to trace. Depending on the nature of the culprit, the pathogen may be studied under a microscope, or through culture techniques, or using molecular techniques. Plant pathology research scientists are constantly studying the viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites which cause diseases in plants. Modern technology allows plant pathologists from all over the world to share their latest discoveries. They work together with other professionals such as plant breeders, entomologists, horticulturalists, productionists, economists and environmentalists. In this way, a plant pathologist contributes towards more and safer food supplies, the health and well-being of our citizens, conservation of soil and water resources and a cleaner environment. Of course, all this also helps strengthen the economy, creating jobs and ensuring food security. Teachers, lecturers, trainers, guides and consultants in this field all play a vital role in making sure that there are enough people in the next generation who will look after our valuable plants and ensure that there is enough food for everyone to eat. At ZZ2, they focus on producing high-quality tomatoes throughout the year. You can imagine that they face many challenges to achieve this. Because they basically only have one main crop, 
Their fields are extremely vulnerable to pathogens. Any attack will spread like wildfire if left unchecked. They rely heavily on plant pathologists to protect their crops by keeping them healthy and preventing an outbreak of any disease. If something does attack their crops, it is absolutely crucial to get it under control and stop the advance of the pathogen as soon as possible. We have problem with fertilizer, uh, plant nutrition, we can apply fertilizer. Irrigation, you can solve, but when the plant is sick, you need someone to come and help you identify which disease so that you can also do the correct uh, uh, management. Plant pathologists also play an important role in ensuring that the food we eat is safe and does not contain harmful microorganisms that can cause illness in humans or animals. The International Society for Plant Pathology was founded to raise awareness of the importance of plant diseases and plant health management. The ISPP makes valuable information widely available. The ISPP also regularly sponsors an international conference at which plant pathologists and other professionals from all over the world can share their newest discoveries. In our region, we have the Southern African Society of Plant Pathology. This association fosters collaboration in the region and shares the ISPP principles. As long as people need food to eat, there will be a continued demand for plant pathologists. In addition to field work, many projects require laboratory work and include research using techniques on the cutting edge of science. To be admitted to a university to study for a science degree, you usually need to meet certain requirements. These include taking maths and physical science at school. From time to time, bursaries may become available. To be considered for one, you need to demonstrate that you have more than the normal passion, talent and tenacity. The surest way to gain access to this wonderful career path is to get excellent school marks. The degrees in plant pathology which are offered at South African universities are recognized internationally. Subjects include plant sciences, soil sciences, land protection, crop production, microbiology, entomology, genetics and chemistry. The main objective of plant pathologists is to control plant diseases and to keep plants healthy. Their promise is to help improve the quality of life and ensure food security for all. A career in plant pathology is therefore not just a job, but an ongoing adventure. It takes you into a fascinating new world, the interaction between plants and the pests that afflict them. You can help to unlock the secrets of life, discover new phenomena, and find solutions to existing challenges. You can make a real difference to the people of South Africa, Africa, and the world through increased food security, reducing unnecessary starvation and suffering. With a solid foundation in science and the desire to discover the world of plant pathology, your opportunities are endless. Regardless of which branch of plant pathology you choose, your future is bright and promising.